All right, guys, so I am here to, <laughs> I'm trying to learn this as I go, actually, but I thought I would show you this video with some of my experience working with the new footage that comes from the iPhone 12, especially with that new Dolby Vision. It's recording in this HDR, and you just need to really be aware of it. So I'm going to show you some things here. I have some footage taken from an iPhone 12 Pro with the Dolby Vision, and I also have footage from an iPhone 11 Pro. Basically the same footage, I just kind of stood outside and took some shots of some leaves outside the tree because it's really nice and colorful. And we're gonna work with this, and I'm just gonna kind of show you some of the problems that I had, and really the only way that I can figure out how to remedy this. So we'll go, we'll come over to the computer now. All right guys, so we're here in the computer, and I did a few things. One of the things to realize is that in Final Cut, you have to set up a library to be either in SDR, so standard dynamic range, or an HDR. So the library is the principal part. And my first thing was trying to figure out if I could set up an HDR timeline, and I did that. So you'll see I have this library here, this Dolby library, and this library what i did and if you come over here you'll see that it's actually set to a wide gamut hdr so when you create a library you can choose whether you want that library to be wide color gamut or an sdr and, and primarily you and i work in sdr so i thought maybe if i change this to wide color gamut it would work so i created one and you can see if you hit modify here you can switch that forward and backward wide color to standard right um, I actually inputted my footage, so you'll see this one here. Looks It looks really blown out here on the screen, you see that? But when it displays over here, it looks fine. And this is a project that I was working on, and this is, again, the footage from the actual iPhone 12, and this is the footage from the iPhone 11. And you can see that big difference right there in the color, right? The color in the iPhone 11. 12 is so bright and vibrant versus this just looks so dull and bland. So I was like, okay, so it's looking great here because I have that new HDR library set up, right? So I have the library, I have the timeline, everything's everything's working great. So what I'm going to do here is actually just create a project. So we'll go to project and I'm just going to leave it as its default. So 4K, that all looks good. Wide color gamut, fantastic. I'm just going to call this uh, 4, 4K HDR. Awesome. And you can see here, if we click on that, our modify, everything looks lined up beautifully. Super happy. We're going to take the iPhone 12 footage, drag that in. Again, it looks looks beautiful here really super nice and vibrant and we're going to take some iphone 11 footage and drag it right beside it so you can see where the change is from the 12 to the 11 it's just it's night and day difference right because when we look at it with the sdr timeline you end up getting this i'll just show you here and i have this one here and i'll bring up a normal one this is the normal footage Again, looks looks fine. This is from the iPhone 11. And when you go to the iPhone 12, you end up with this. See this blowout? So my thought was, maybe we can create this HDR timeline. So I'm just going to go back here. And this all looks lovely. And I'm not going to color correct it, but you get what it is. It looks great. So if we export this, because you, you will all do this. Same deal, 4K HDR. You'll see you'll get this warning that talks about... Uh, using an 8-bit codec with HDR contact may affect the video quality. So I'm like, okay, I don't even know what that means. So off it goes, save. And we're just going to wait for a minute to see what see what happens here. Takes a little bit of time. HDR products, because they do have more information, right? And because I set it up to export as a 4K Apple device, it exports it as an 8-bit. So that's a little bit of an issue. So if we hide this now and look at that new 4K file that I just created, 4K HDR, you'll see it's blown out because that 8-bit file can't handle all that color information. So we can go back into Final Cut and realize that didn't work. 
So we can come in here and export and export this as a master file, 4K, and I'll put 4K master. And this is going to be a big file. See this? This this project is 30 seconds long. It's 1.87 gigs as a master. So out it goes. Yep. And this is now in its export. And we'll see if that master can retain that color information. Now, my thought is that it, it probably should be able to. So we'll see. And now we have a master file that has that in there. So the problem now is that clip that we sent out for, let's say, YouTube or whatever, has been pushed into this 8-bit. So that, that becomes the issue. So number one is that you and I can work in a SDR timeline. So if we do that, and I'll just go to a standard timeline here. So this is my one I did before. This is that normal one. And you'll see it blows out here. There's that file that's blown out. So if we click on this and bring up our, our color wheels, I like these ones here, so you guys can change that to whichever you choose, but I like the color wheels. Really, you're working primarily with the highlights. Now, I like to have this screen up here as well, and to bring that up, it's just Command-7. You'll see, get rid of it, bring it back, get rid of it, bring it back, so Command-7. And once it's here, up at the top here where it says View, you can go to a single, or you can go to double. I like double up and down. And then you can choose here what you want in those spots. So I have waveform and RGB parade. So this, of course, is we're peaking. We're, we're way above 100. So really all you need to do is take your highlights and bring them down. Now, the highlights, they seem to stop right there. And it's, it's not enough. So you just take this and you just keep pulling it. And you keep pulling it and you keep pulling it until those drop below that 100% that mark. And now we actually take that HDR footage and kind of turn it into SDR. So we lose a lot of that brightness and vibrancy that the HDR has, but at least it's workable. We can play with it. So as far as I know, if you're going to be wanting to upload this like to YouTube or stuff like that, I still am going to work in a SDR timeline because for one, I want the footage to all look very similar. Now, if I was working strictly off of footage from the iPhone, then I may actually work in an HDR library and export an HDR. But the issue is, is trying to get that into an 8-bit codec or file that retains all that information. So I don't know if that's possible right now. But I'm going to check a little bit. And I encourage you guys, because this is just after one day of working with the iPhone 12. If you guys have any information in regards to a workflow please leave it down below getting that hdr i don't think we can get the hdr to stay hdr when we are putting it into that kind of apple codec because it, it does bring it down to 8-bit i'm wondering if in a program like compressor so if i brought up compressor right here we'll try it actually why not we'll try it while we're here we're learning together i'm going to take that 4k hdr master and i'm going to bring it in here so there it is compressor understands what it is and we are going to go to settings and we're going to export this and i'm curious if we hit this up to 4k right up to 4k and i'm going to just drag it on there so yeah see it blows it out it doesn't understand it see that difference right that's that's no good we don't want it to go up looking like that so as of now i don't know a workaround for this i think what we need to do is stay in that sdr timeline the timeline that you and i have been working with probably forever and just have to do some pretty aggressive color correcting strictly or mostly on the highlights and just realize that that bar comes down especially in when you're working in the color wheels like i was but you can pull it even further. It just, it, it'll continue past that and just bring those highlights. If you guys know of a workaround for getting those videos out looking like this and not like this in HDR 10-bit, please leave comments down below because we're all, we're all learning this together. All right, my friends, I'm going to leave you there. Uh, like, comment, share, subscribe. Please comment down below because I... Anything that can make this workflow better 
is good for all of us. So maybe, maybe they'll update Final Cut. I don't know. All right, guys. We'll see you guys next video. Later.